when you are fighting for survival, fighting for respect, uh, you're going to do anything because you're desperate. Uh, my wife, who's, who's here today, she was pregnant with our first child, and I didn't have a salary for the first year of our company. I mean, I would have done anything to make sure a Starbucks survives. Now, can I expect that now that we have this size and scale of company, that someone who gets hired into Starbucks today is going to be as hungry as I was many, many years ago? And the, the short answer is probably not. However, I think we're talking about leadership now, and we're talking about instilling a mentality into the culture of the organization in which people need to understand that we cannot take a breath, that we have competitors who want to take the food off of our table. We have an economy in which there's 8% unemployment here, 9% unemployment in the U.S., and Starbucks Coffee Company is not something you have to have. It is a discretionary purchase. And so the mentality that you need in a business today, Starbucks or otherwise, to build sustainable success and enduring success is you have to eradicate the human behavior of relaxing, the human behavior of feeling like we have won. And what I have said in the last two years of Starbucks is there's no celebration, there's no victory lap. We haven't done squat. And, and I, I just I feel as if people need to understand that success is not an entitlement. It has to be earned and earned every day. And I also will say it's up to the leaders of a company to instill that mentality and imprint that behavior. And it's also up to the leaders to make decisive decisions when people are not adhering to that level of comprehensive, passionate commitment. I think the, the worst thing that can happen is that there is a level of bureaucracy and consensus building that the decision takes so long that the people who are in a position to benefit from the decision, just getting a decision, become so frustrated as a result of the process. And I think um, this goes back to a company that was once small and now getting bigger. And when you get bigger, you're trying to protect, trying to preserve, and you lose the courage to make the kind of decisions that once defined the company. And I just think, as I wrote in the book, especially during a crisis, that leaders need to be decisive and you have to be willing to make decisions without perfect information. And then, crisis or not, your people are waiting for you to make a decision. They deserve timely decision-making and they deserve to understand how and why the decision was made.